Oh man, this is actually a story part, but it's still so boring. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 15, Episode 13. This is a story episode, however, one of the writers is this Eugene lady person. Any time that you see her name in the credits for writing, you can expect death of entertaining story time. This episode, even though it actually is a story-related episode, is quite dull. All of these little moments in the episode pass by so quickly and they change direction so quickly. It's like watching a Simpsons episode. There's essentially two episodes of things that happen in this episode, yet they're all so quickly moved on from one to another. Also so uneventful that Despite Jack getting his soul back, I fell asleep watching this episode. Twice! I finally finished it now because it's 6 in the morning and I have something to go out and do today, so I thought I'd finally watch it and just give it a view and my god, it's just... It's story related, thankfully. It is about the brothers finding a way to take down God and they do address that whole question of, hey, what are we going to do because if we destroy god then the balance is destroyed so we have to destroy amara too right and now they're writing themselves into the question that everyone asked at the beginning of this season along with this too there is some dead humor i'm not talking deadpan just dead i didn't chuckle once except when sam made a joke about his man bun because i know a guy who i've worked with in the film industry who has a man bun lovely dude lovely dude but we could not stop making fun of his man bun thing was tight and so taut i thought his eyes would like go bend in the back of his head but there's a lot of humor that's meant to be funny like alternate sam and dean is at least Sam has like a pulse in terms of a different sort of scenario to himself, whereas Dean kind of is different, but he's just wearing different clothing. I don't know that. The joke started off kind of interesting with them in a Fiat with uh, the Cherry Cola song. That was great. And then it ended and then they were in a alternate universe like something in the wall, which didn't make any sense. And yet somehow they had a spell for it just MacGuffin spells. Andrew Dabb and MacGuffin spells is just trademark Andrew Dabb. Never mind, I did chuckle at two things when they were playing rock, paper, scissors. Except Dean won without rock. So that definitely was an alternative universe Dean. Aside from that, I just thought there were some parts of this episode that were just kind of strange. Like when they went to the church and there's four of them. Four of them. Yet they think three is the necessary number to try and find the occultum thing while they let Sammy hold a door by himself. And yet, when Jack disappears, both Cass and Dean are like, hmm, let's dramatically stare at the door and watch Sam get flung like a little Barbie doll. It was cool to see the Garden of Eden, even though I thought that they showed the garden in the episode where Sam and Dean went to heaven for the first time in season five and they met the curator guy who disappeared, but I thought that was kind of Eden, but this was apparently the Eden and it gave Jack's soul back and now he's asking for forgiveness. And literally like the last, Last two, like last minute essentially of the episode, we actually have character development with Jack going back around again, because I'll admit, seeing Jack back again, I was like, oh, oh, I remember what I didn't miss. This, I did not miss this. I like Jack from the beginning of the season because that Jack, while not Jack, actually had a character, a pulse. Something we hadn't watched rinsed and repeat for the last two seasons. I am kind of on the fence about how this episode was meant to be. And obviously now that this is the last episode we might be getting for a while because of the coronavirus, the development, the post-development of the future episodes are apparently delayed. I have no fucking clue what the scheduling was for this show, but really they were supposed to be finishing the final seven episodes, finishing and releasing them in the next two months, April and May, because Supernatural always ends in May. But apparently we might not see that. We might not even see episode 14 for a while. So that's just bananas, bananas, that it's going to take even longer for it to come out. But again, that all lies with what's going to happen to the world in the next two or three months. The film industry is still completely silent. Over 500,000 people in Canada 
applied for EI alone last week. And I mean, a majority of those people are probably in the film industry because 125,000 jobs in Vancouver, film jobs in Vancouver went like that last, last Monday. Anyways, guys, I'm going to give this episode a two out of seven. It's too bad because it's too boring. Anyways, that's all from me. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.